state of Hawaii takes on a major drug manufacturer. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Paula Akana. Hawaii's Attorney General filed suit today against the maker of the drug Plavix, used by millions of people across the U.S. and Hawaii. And that's tonight's Top Story at Five. Plavix is a widely used drug marketed to work much like aspirin to prevent heart attack, stroke, or vascular death. State Attorney General David Louie filed a lawsuit Wednesday against the manufacturers and distributors of Plavix, alleging unfair and deceptive acts in marketing, labeling, and sale of Plavix in Hawaii. What the drug manufacturers did not tell anybody was that Plavix was not effective or had a diminished effect on people of uh, East Asian descent or Pacific Islanders descent, of which approximately 50% of the population in Hawaii is of uh, that extraction or descent. That's because of a genetic predisposition that poorly metabolizes the drug. Louis says since 1998, more than one million Plavix prescriptions have been written in Hawaii. The state itself paid for Plavix for some of its Medicaid patients. And he alleges the makers deceptively and unfairly promoted Plavix as being better than aspirin. Some people started taking Plavix instead of aspirin, essentially removing the protection that they might have had. Louis says no deaths have been reported here due to Plavix. But he says it costs up to a hundred times more than aspirin. If you're taking Plavix, um, you know, it might work, but it also might not work. What you should do is talk to your doctor. Louis says there is a simple swab test that can tell your doctor if Plavix will work for you. We reached out to Plavix manufacturers, Bristol Myers Squibb and Sanofi. They sent this statement, quote, Plavix is one of the most studied medicines with over a decade of real-world experience in patients with acute coronary syndrome, recent stroke, recent heart attack, and peripheral arterial disease. Plavix has been prescribed to more than 115 million patients worldwide, including more than 50 million in the United States. We will not comment on pending litigation. The state of Hawaii has hired law firm Cronin and Freed to handle this case. The suit seeks a maximum civil penalty of $10,000 for each deceptive or unfair act committed and an additional civil penalty of $10,000 for each deceptive or unfair act that's directed towards the elderly, also giving up the profits from the sale of Plavix.